it's gardening season. Yep, Memorial Day weekend. Well, don't say that because what happens if I like post this like next August? Yeah. Well, you cut this part out. We are always looking at new planters. So this is where this starts. So go for proof, deer proof, and self-watering so that we only have to water once a week. That's what we're doing. Yeah. I know. It's I know. exciting. Everyone's going to do this, Michael. Yes. Well, maybe not this exactly, but... <laughs> it's exciting. Yes. It was really big on the internet, I think. At least I saw one person doing oh, it. Oh, yeah. We totally uh, got this idea from this lady on the internet. Yeah, it was the lady on the internet. Because in true Mike and Molly fashion, it's not legitimate unless it's made out of garbage and leftovers. Yeah. So is, this is a reuse product. Yes. And we've been researching. Maybe we're remakers. Michael, what do you have here? I have the empty shells of a filing cabinet. Wow. I took the drawers out. That's step one. But so but tell the people what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a planter. Oh my god. It's gonna be a raised bed. Wow. You're ingenious. Step one, take out the drawers. Take out the drawers. Step two, hoard the drawers. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Drawers have been hoarded. God forbid we get rid of anything. All right, here is a filing cabinet. With the inner frame taken out. All right, you took out the inner frame, which was? Yeah, the pieces that went across here. They kind of snapped in and then were spot welded. So I took a chisel and a hammer to them and removed them. Right. We want a self-watering one. So we actually need to seal the inside of this up. It needs to be waterproof. Yeah from the inside out. So this is mostly waterproof, except yeah. for the holes down there. Yeah, we have those little drain holes. And then I'm also gonna seal up these side things so that they don't just rust out. Okay. And then I'm gonna seal the entire inner, inner surface with rubber coating so that it doesn't just rust in a, in a week. Yes, and if people are concerned about chemicals leaching into our soil and killing us. See, then when they put the comments in, we'll be like, you took the time to write a comment, yet you didn't take the time to read the caption. Yeah, you so, sound salty, like a salty molly. Yeah, so step three, Step, step next. We love this stuff. I'm using aluminum tape because it's actually metal and it's just gonna patch the holes and then it's gonna get sealed with the rubber as well. We've used this to mount things too because my son team not to like metal. Just a side note. So now it's all taped, we can Take it to the spray booth. All right, to the spray booth. To the and, spray booth. And we're gonna spray it with Flexol, right? Yep. Okay. Michael, if you were a commercial for Flex Seal. Me and Phil Swift. Okay, that's fine. We're not a commercial for Flex Seal. Down to the spray booth. Coming, Michael. Coming. Spray booth ready. There you go. All right. It's looking pretty rubbery in there. He got the rubber here, but was feeling a little uncomfortable, so did some more reinforcing here to the corners there. And is 
now working on getting the other two ready. Michael. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm going to drill a drain hole. Okay. And maybe we'll just do a voiceover of yeah. the little there. We'll take some pictures. So I got them all set and I got them filled with pumice. There we go. So there's six inches of pumice, which fun fact is four buckets. Fun fact. And then there's a drain hole over here with a little screen on it to keep everything from falling out. Okay. And a filler tube. In the opposite corner. Oh yeah, you even painted it black. Painted it black because fashion, aesthetics. All right, so we take the water and we go and it fills it up to that level and when it gets past that level, it drains. It drains out. There! Okay. So the next step is dirt, but before you put the dirt in, you have to put some sort of barrier to keep the dirt from just flowing into the pumice. Smart. So I've got leftover shade cloth from some ancient Craigslist score. Okay. And I'm cutting that up and putting it in there. And then it's dirt time. All right. We'll come back when you've um, done your labor. Labor. Okay. Good timing, Molly. Last bucket. Michael, my time is impeccable. Impeccable. Always. All right, look at that. These things aren't bowing at all. Yeah, so the concern was if you took out the center pieces, maybe this we... would bow. Right. But it's not. Not the case. Yeah, really nice. Ready for plants. Ready for plants. I put garden soil in from the upper garden to Put all the good bacteria and also seed it with worms. Oh. This is version one. Let's see if it would work. Then we did version two here. And we did not want to spend $150 for all these planters. So we switched to file cabinets because we have file cabinets. the selfie stick. <laughs> I embraced the selfie stick. You you leaned in. <laughs> I leaned in hard. I like my selfie stick. I know. I, my arm's getting really tired though. I know if you had the selfie stick you wouldn't have to you know labor. <laughs> okay. All right Michael um, I'm gonna cut this down. To like four seconds. <laughs> oh Jesus it's so long. <laughs>